Last week, I was able to get my clients approved for a mortgage that was more than twice the amount that they would otherwise have qualified for under the stress test and the new mortgage rules and all that stuff. And I did it at a bank and I did it at the bank's best rates. If you want to find out how I did it, take a moment to watch this. So if you're buying or refinancing a home for the first time in say three years or more, you're probably feeling surprised and frustrated and disappointed by how much tougher it's now become to qualify for a mortgage in Canada. Lots of new federal regulations are affecting not only you, but also the banks that you've borrowed from in the past. You're going to need to provide way more documents than you used to, no matter which lender you're working with, because all those lenders need to comply with Ottawa. They need to be able to track the history and source of your down payment. They have to see if you can handle your personal monthly debts and possibly higher mortgage payments by stress testing you at a higher simulated rate. That's the stress test. And these days, they go over your income with a fine-tooth comb because the best mortgages in Canada are qualified on the basis of your income. Credit and other things are important, of course, but I always say that your income is the cornerstone of qualifying for Canada's best mortgages. And that's for better or for worse. Sometimes I would see a salaried employee actually qualify for a larger or better mortgage than certain self-employed people or people living off investment income, or a pensioner, or even someone with a lot of wealth but very little income because those people plan their affairs to minif minimize their taxable income. No matter what their walk of life is, I get many clients looking at these new rules and complaining to me about the same thing. They say, I know my income can only qualify me for so much, especially with all these new rules, but can't they see how much equity I've got in my home now? And don't they care about my savings and my investments, just my overall net worth? And my answer to them would have been a very sympathetic no. Until now. Over spring break, one of Canada's five big banks very quietly rolled out a new mortgage program. And as my assistant and I read through these guidelines, we thought to ourselves, holy cow, this could change the game for a lot of Canadians. To start off, they check your credit. And under this program, your credit score needs to be very strong. Then next, just like with all other mortgages in this country, they qualify you on the basis of your income. And they use those new rules and that stress test and all that stuff here to uh, come up with an amount that you can borrow based on your income. And again, depending on your qualifying income, that mortgage amount can either be high or it can be unfeasible, unfeasibly low. But the next step is where the magic happens. They will lend you more on top of your income. Get this. For every dollar in liquid assets you can show this bank, they will lend you a dollar in mortgage money. I'll say that again. This bank will lend you a dollar of mortgage money for every dollar you can prove in verifiable liquid net worth. And by liquid assets, I mean cash and GICs, publicly traded stocks and funds and federal and provincial savings bonds, employee stock options plans and so on. Anything you have in an RRSP or a RIF, a TFSA, or even a regular unregistered investment account in a Canadian financial institution that's not locked in, for example, like a Lira. You can also count the equity in any properties that uh, you own that are under a firm contract to be sold, but you cannot use just good old home equity per se because that's not considered to be a liquid asset. We also make sure that if you're buying that the down payment you'll be using is actually not included or part of the liquid net worth calculation because that won't be liquid at the time that you purchase. There's one more important. Uh, important bunch of pluses here. If you're buying a home and you have 35% down payment or if you're refinancing a home and will have at least 35% equity le left in it after the refi, then no income or debt servicing ratios will limit your qualification. It becomes a matter of your credit and the amount of your liquid net worth. And if you have enough qualifying income on top of the liquid net worth, not only can you purchase and refinance with up to 80% financing, the, uh, the total income and debt servicing ratios also get increased to the tune of 36%. This program is available not only for your primary residence, but it's also good for a second or a vacation home and even up to a certain amount of rental properties. And here's a couple of examples of this program being put to use. So for example, I had strong clients on the North Shore, business owners looking to refinance their beautiful home. They wanted a home equity line of credit that they could use for investing, but they were set up in such a way that they never had enough qualifying income to get that line. Their original mortgage was for about 1.25 million, and they were shocked to find out that under all these new rules, they wouldn't even income qualify for that mortgage they already had. In fact, we pointed out that they would probably only income qualify for a mortgage of about 1.05 million at this time. 
But after the bank reviewed the 12 month history of the of two investment accounts, not only did they replace the original $1.25 million mortgage, they also improved them, they also approved them for a $900,000 HELOC on top of the mortgage. That's a little over twice the amount they'd qualified before this program came out. And this program's not just for the wealthy. I was able to help a gentleman out in purchasing a condo in Burnaby. Using the traditional qualification of his very modest income, I would have only been able to get him approved for about $147,500 in mortgage money. But thanks to his excellent credit and his awesome investment portfolio, we got him up to $371,500, and he had enough actual income in reality to comfortably pay this mortgage down, a mortgage that was two and a half times larger than he would otherwise qualified for. So this new mortgage program is absolutely has the potential to change the game. Remember, they offer mortgages and line of credit at their best rates at this lender, and there are similar type mortgage products available from other banks and credit unions and insurance companies. This is the return of what we call the net worth style mortgage product. There you have it. The net worth style mortgage is back in the game and it's not just being done by anybody. Big five banks, credit unions, insurance companies. It's going to be a game changer. If you found this video interesting and you know somebody in your world who might benefit from it, please go ahead and share it. Are you a realtor, a financial planner, or a tax advisor who have clients that come to mind with these types of frustrations and challenges? Please reach out to me directly or introduce your client to me and I'll be happy to describe these products in more detail. That's all for now. Have a great afternoon and we'll talk again soon.